Hey everybody, James Ramirez here. Um, I just wanted to show you um, some of our landscaping equipment. The last landscaping video I made, uh, I was showing you guys shovels um, and rakes and basically all our hand tools for the most part. Uh, but today, um, I thought I would show you some of our more commercial equipment, uh, namely our trimmers. So we got two weed whackers, a hedge trimmer, and an edger. And here they are right there. Here's our weed whacker number one, weed whacker number two. Um, this one is our hedge trimmer, and this one's our edger. So as you can see, there they are. I keep them nicely up on these racks here. You can see them. And then as we, here's weed whacker, weed whacker, and then hedge trimmer. You can kind of see that there. And an edger right there. So, yeah. We've got, this one's an Echo. This one's an Echo too. We got one Toro and then another Echo. So, yeah. And then these two here, this is a, what's the model on it? Uh, SRM 225. This is an SRM 225. And then this one over here, this edger, that's a PE-225. So the, they're identical. Everything about them is identical, except for the fact that this one has a weed whacker end and this one has an edging end. So, But otherwise, they're identical. The engine size is the same and everything like that. They All of these um, trimmers right here take 50 to 1 mixed fuel which is right here. As you can see, we put it in this can, and two-stroke only, and we put 50 to 1 so that we know what kind to use. So, there we go. And I think I'll take each one down and show each one to you a little bit more in depth, and uh, that should be good. All right, this one here is our SRM 230 Echo. This is a commercial grade weed whacker and as you can see it is a very good quality I wouldn't say as high quality as steel which hopefully most of our equipment will be steel but for the meantime Echo is kind of a cheap and very quality way to get good commercial results for our customers ones that look good so yeah, as you can see, with all Echo equipment, here's another thing I love about Echo equipment, it's so simple. To start it, all you have to do is cold start, make sure the front button is in the on position, press the bulb and start. There's a lot of other ones that are a bit more complicated, but you just pull this till it starts, flip that down, and you're ready to go. So simple. Any piece of Echo equipment, whether it's a blower, weed whacker, hedge trimmer, pull saw, really any 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 kind of echo equipment that is two stroke or two cycle like that works in that very same uh, kind of premise it's really really simple and uh, for instance I'll show you this echo blower we have over here that is currently not it runs but it needs some parts this is a very old blower. I think this is from the mid to late 90s when this blower was made. It's a very old backpack blower. And it was just sitting in someone's uh, shed for a long time when I got it for free. But as you can see, even though this is almost 20, 20 years old, probably just a little bit over 20 years old, it still runs the same way. Cold start, and run. That's it. And it's got that same switch that I showed you on the other one. It's just, it operates basically the same way. Even though it's years, years old, it still, still runs and starts the same way as this hedge, or uh, weed whacker, which was made only about five years ago so yeah this is a good one we got it i bought it from our mechanic eddie who fixed it up 
and uh, we got it for $100. So it is a really nice weed whacker for that price. And uh, it's great. It served us really well. All right, next up we have our SRM225 Echo again. And it's got the same thing on the other one. Cold to start and the run, the bulb, and the on-off button. It is a great weed whacker. We got it from one of our customers by the name of Danielle. Her husband had it sitting under his deck. And... Uh, we did two free lawn cuts for him that came to about $120, and in return, he gave us this weed whacker, and it is a great, great weed whacker. As you can see, the handle here, it's got like a extended kind of extra handle for turning it on its side and then edging with it, so it's a very versatile trimmer, and it served us really well. And. Uh, it's good to have more than one weed whacker for sure, especially if you have more than one person because, trust me, doing it for as, even as short a time as I've been doing it for, I've been doing it for three years now. Most people have done it, most professional companies have done it for a lot longer, but still, I've already seen that having more than one weed whacker is a must if you have any hope of continuing to run your business <laughs> continuously. <laughs> All right, and then this right here is a Toro. I'm not sure the model on it, but it is a great piece of equipment. It's not commercial grade for sure, but it's a great piece of equipment because you can add more than one attachment. It works to the, very much the same as Ryobi. In fact, as you can see, this is a Ryobi attachment, but it works for a Toro because it's got this little connector here which you unscrew really easily. I think I'm going the wrong way. And once it's loose, you just kind of pop this thing out like this. I don't know if I can show you here too well. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to do with only one hand, but the point is you can add a weed whacker attachment. So this could be either a weed whacker, it could be a hedge trimmer, or it could be a pole saw, whatever, I think they call it expand it attachment you have that is compatible with Ryobi or Toro or anything like that will work. So yeah, it's a bit more complicated to start than the other ones. As you see, it's got all these instructions and it's a bit more like you got different levels you gotta go to for the choke. But yeah, otherwise, it's uh, it's decent for what it is. I mean, it, it actually is our first, this is our first gas uh, weed whacker that we ever had in this business, um, believe it or not. Um, we bought it for 40 bucks off of a guy and it, uh, it served us really well for a long time, and then it was dead for a super long time, and then our mechanic, Eddie, brought it back to life, and uh, now it's great. Works awesome as a weed whacker or a hedge trimmer. See, there you guys got a shot of it with its weed whacker attachment, and uh, yeah, really great trimmer. And then here we have our Echo PE225. And this one is a lot like that other trimmer, the SRM225 that I showed you a minute ago. But, yeah, it's Echo, commercial grade. As you can see, it's got the same switch system. Super easy to learn. And uh, <clears throat> the handle is just a little different than the other ones, but the button still works the same. And then... This is where it gets interesting. It's not like a normal weed whacker. It curves right there at the end, and it has this little wheel on it, and then this blade, which basically goes along. Anybody who does lawn care knows what I'm talking about. You go along the edge of your property, right in between the concrete and the lawn, and you just make it nice and separated so that the grass isn't growing over onto the concrete, and just creates a really clean look for your yard. 
I can tell you from experience it's looked really great on a lot of our customers yards but it certainly isn't like a necessity for some of the work we do like we don't use it that often even in the busy season but it's always just good if you want to go the extra mile just make your customers yard look awesome this is the way to do it fast easy looks great but yeah so that's pretty much it for our trimmers this one actually we got for free from one of our biggest fans his name is greg he moved away a while back but still he he absolutely loves the work we do and we're really grateful for his support so little shout out to you greg thanks for the edger we really do appreciate it especially considering that it's commercial grade brand new this thing's like four hundred dollars and he gave it to us for free so we appreciate it so yeah that's pretty much it for our trimmers they work it seems like this time of year they don't work as like they their performance isn't as great as during the warmer months but that's just because these are all two two cycle equipment they've got carburetors and uh they can often carburetors often get gummy and dirtied up when gas sits for a long time so they don't operate as great during the colder months as they do during the warmer busy season but that's good because we only use them for the most part during the warmer months anyway it's the colder months that we usually do leaves and other kind of extra work for people but yeah it's uh we are really grateful for what we got here hopefully we're going to be expanding soon hopefully in the end we replace this hedge trimmer as you can see right here with a steel hedge trimmer because those steel hedge trimmers with the articulating blade are really good i've used a couple and they are they're amazing they're just the best uh hedge trimming implements ever devised if you ask me so yeah hopefully we'll, we're always upgrading here always upgrading always trying to improve and as you can see we've got quite a full garage now of lawn care equipment and uh we've just got a ton of stuff here but that'll be for another video i'll probably take you through a whole garage tour and just show you everything go, do a very quick run through of all our equipment and i think you guys will enjoy it so hit me up in the comment section on what you want to see coming up here uh in the next few weeks and months um let me know do you like my lawn my lawn care and landscaping videos or do you lean a little bit more toward toward my star wars content or my uh i made a video about my mini bike <laughs> so yeah just just let me know what you want to see from the wombat corner um but yeah i really appreciate your support don't forget to like share subscribe and leave a comment below on what you want to see more content and uh just ask any questions about our equipment or what we do here we are always willing to let you guys in on everything so <laughs> i'll see you have a nice day have a blessed day bye